In this next video of our view frame groups and our sheets that we've automatically set up here, we're going to take a look at editing all of the plans and profiles. Now this is what takes the largest amount of time is setting up these profiles so they actually look good, they look decent, they display the information that we actually need them to, and to adjust them all. Unfortunately, we have to do it one by one manually. There is no automatic button as of right now that I'm aware of. So I've hit my first plan profile page and none of these were actually plotted with the north arrow because I couldn't get it to work. However, this north arrow is unfortunately pointing down. Now, as I've said before, we should never have north pointing down. So maybe using the backwards profile style would have attributed to the the left to right reading, or sorry, the right to left, but we're just going to go with this for now because the concepts are the same. So what Civil 3D has done, if I draw a construction line just from the end of the, the alignment straight down, Civil 3D has lined up the start of my alignment with the zero elevation on, or the zero station on my profile. Now that's hard to see because it's cut off at the bottom. So let's start taking a look at this. Our design and existing ground are about elevation 1110. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna select my profile. I'm gonna to go to profile view properties. And I'm gonna start playing with my stations and elevations. Now I want a little bit of overlap on each drawing. So I'm gonna try typing minus 25 and 375, not 237, 375. And I'm gonna see what that gives us when we hit okay. And then my ele elevations, we knew that it was at 11, 1,110. So I'm gonna start off at 1,100 and go to 1,120. And just to see what this gives us. I'm gonna hit okay. And it's actually bumped it down. So it's given me a decent width. I can see the labels on the left and the right. However, it has moved it down. So I'm gonna select my profile, but unfortunately we cannot see the bottom of the profile itself to move it. And I like to move things with grips. I don't like to use the move command. So a little trick is we can double click on the profile to full screen it. So we can grab this, grab the grip and use polar and move it straight up. When that is done, you can either type VP min or click this command there to minimize the viewport back down. So I can delete this construction line because it's extended it to the left and the right for us. So that's all good. And now I can select this and move it back down. As we see here, we have a bit more room on the top and the bottom. So I don't need to show much information up here. So I'm gonna try going to 1095 to 1125 to make it a little bit taller. This is also good if you wanna show, if you have any pipeline crossings or utility crossings, any labels that we need to show, we may have to have additional room in the profile to be able to show them. So we can confirm that zero and zero are still lined up. And we have our match line here that lines up with station three something, probably 375. And I can't actually seem to grab that. So again, just double click on your viewport. Or sorry, station 350 and bring that down. And then VP min. If I go into edit labels, yeah, we already looked in here and I wasn't able to change it. So we'll just leave that for now. Looking at the second viewport, the same steps would have to occur. So we'd have to adjust this. We'll go to profile view properties. And I'm gonna try do the last, the settings from the last drawing. Stations, I'm gonna make this 325 to 725, just so we, again, we have that overlap and we'll hit okay. Another thing you could do is to grab the bottom of your viewport, extend it down, and then grab the grip and move it up. However, you need to put the viewport back exactly where you had taken it from. 
but always make sure to move these straight up and straight down since we are matched at 350 and 350 would be right in here. And we can't even see some of the label. So it is a little bit of work. There is some back and forth to, to adjust these and to set them up. You might be able to do it through the create your sheets automatically, but there's, there's that option if you want to explore that. Now, let me show you when we get to a curve. So as we start to get to a curve, it should start on drawing five. Okay, that one fits on there nicely. That one fits on there nicely, although the P, PI is cut off, so we would have to leader a label over there. Just check all these drawings. That one's okay. That one's okay. So fortunately for us, all our curves tend to be okay in regards to being placed on the drawing. However, if you have curves that are very sharp, you may end up having a split profile or split plan view. So there'd be two viewports that Civil 3D has made up here in an attempt so you can see the entire alignment on the screen in your drawing. So the last three videos were creating the sheets. Under the, so under the output tab, we created the view frames, we created the sheets, and then we edited those sheets. So we set the first two up so they could be nice and visible in the drawing, ensuring that the beginning of the alignment is set up because that is where we'll tie everything off. On a curve page also, the beginning will match. The end, however, will not because the curve is going to be a little bit longer than the profile itself or display a little bit shorter than the profile itself. So just keep that in mind. We want to match one side of the profile in this case, not both sides.